greeting to you, child of God. God bless you for being here again. It is by God. Divine arrangement. You are not here by accident. God brought you here because you have a word for you. And this word has been coming for some hours now. I've been so busy trying to, you know, to tidy up some things. But the message continues to come. Please, I want to share this message. And if you're new, this message is for you. Please, you have to be take this precaution. But if it is not for you and you know somebody who this message is for, just do this good one thing by sharing this message to the person so that the person will to be to be one is to be armed. So God was speaking something to me about a particular person. I don't know why God is sending, you know, bringing this kind of message to me this time. God said, there is this particular person you have been, you have been toiling for, for, you know, for some time ago. But now he has bring forth his light, light of, of breakthrough to you. And truly, you can be a witness that this has changed for you positively. It has not been like this before now. And you're still seeing this. It's going to change even more better than you have been experiencing it already. But God said there is a particular person who wants to come into your life. God said that this person, you know, he hates you. He talks bad about you. The person just hates you for no good reason. But now that the person wants to come because there is areas you will you are needing assistance. There are some areas you need some helping hands. Or I don't know the area, whether by advice, whether by you know, by wanting somebody to work with you or financially. But God said there is this person who doesn't speak good of you, who is not even who doesn't even want your good, but the person wants to come to your life. God said the person wants to be part of your success story. The person wants to be part of your success story. Hear it again. God said the person wants to be part. He wants to, you know, he wants to take part so that he will be among the people that have been mentioned when what God is about doing in your life most to be boom. Because God said he's about doing something in your life that will attract people wanting to know how you make it. And God said this person wants to come into your life. They just want to, they are finding a way to connect. They are finding a way to belong to you. They are finding a way to, to you know, to switch themselves in. But it's, it, God said it is not going to favor you in time to come. When they switch in now, trying to be part of your success story, that in time to come, they will fight against you by the reason of their help to you, by the reason of their contribution to you. So God said I should tell you, be conscious. God, remember in my previous video, few days ago, God told me he's sending somebody back, somebody whom he sent to be a help to somebody, and the person was stuck off by by enemies surrounding the particular that particular person. But now God, this is a different message altogether. God said, be cautioned. Take precaution. Be careful that somebody wants to come to be to attach himself. He has been there since he knows everything about Jesus. He has been around you. But he has he hasn't, you know, he have not want to show up or to be a help to you. But now that he's seen that things is changing for you. Now that he's confirming that you know you are not as this is not as it has been with you before now. Things has really changed for you. They want to attach themselves to you. They want to be part of what is happening in your life. They want to be part of your success story. God said, being part of your success story is not bad. Yes, it's not bad. Because if you look at the account of the Bible, there are people like, in the life of Mephibosheth, David was a help to Mephibosheth by the reason of the good work that uh, that Jonathan did unto David, and David vowed unto Jonathan that he must remember him. So that one is not bad. Being somebody's part of, you know, part of somebody's success story is not bad. God is what God wants us to do. He said, what we want others to do for us, we should first of all do it for others. But the issue is, God is warning that because in time to come, after your sources, after you, you think you've made it, you want to relax and enjoy the blessings. The person will strike. The person will fight against you. The person will try to, you know, to stand against you. Being that he has contributed, he has, you know, switched himself on as your part of the, the story or part of that success. So God said, I should speak to you. There is person around you. The person he hasn't even want to, you know, 
to to share parts in anything that concerns you. They just they just avoid you. They just speak bad against you. They just want to not to you know show up in anything about you. But right away because things have changed for you and things is even about changing because your blessings is being unfolded from face to face. So the person I've seen they can't help stopping you anymore. They can't, they can't stop you know what God is about doing in your life. You know that is what. That is how God works. If God wants to do something in your life, He doesn't need your enemy's permission, both spiritual enemy, both physical enemy. He goes ahead to do that which He has proposed in His heart, which He has proposed by Himself, just to glorify His name. Remember, God said His blessings make it rich and add no sorrow. So, what God is asking you now is so that His blessings in your life will not add sorrow ahead of time, will not add sorrow. When it has landed, no, that is not God's promises. That is not God's plan for us. Hallelujah. In blessing us, God have us, he have the, I mean, the perfection of our blessings in his heart, in blessing us, not for us to have sorrow in the midst of the joy. So that is why God is bringing this warning to you. You should not, before, don't allow that particular person to, if you are, don't allow that particular person to take part in that success. If you allow, he will fight you. If you allow, you have reasons to say, if I had known. So that is why God is bringing this to you because your sources is unfolding. God said they are coming up, I know, in, in fixes. As it, you move forward, the more it expands. As you move forward, the more it unfolds. The more God is unfolding them to you. Now that the person has seen, they can't stop you. They want to partake. In your success story, they want to partake, they want to be part of it. But God said, keep them apart so that not that being part of it is not God, is not good or godly. But because in time to come, they will fight against you for having belonged. They will use, you know, the opportunity, they will use it as 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 a word, or they will use it to fight against that they were among them who made you what you become. So in order to avoid it, God said, be conscious. Of who you allow to come in to be a help, to come in to contribute, to come in to finance, to come in to advise, to come in to do anything. You have to be careful. So that's the word of God. And this message has been coming. Please take it so serious. If you have anything you you don't understand, if there is any area you are confused, just give me a signal, maybe at the comment section, and I will give you, maybe I will send you a private contact or perfect link where you can chat me up personally so that we will reason it together and by God's grace I will tell us or tell you what to do concerning that. So that is the message for today. Please I beg of you. That is the one you need a Holy Spirit. Because sometimes we may have revelations or visions or prophecy about us. But when the Holy Spirit is not there in our life to interpret it or to expatiate it or to make us to really get the real, the, the, the rumor or the message in full, we become confused. Please, I beg of you, if you know that the Holy Spirit is not already dwelling fully in you, that is when you need to call him up. That's when you need to attract him. That's when you need to pray that God will take over you and send his Holy Spirit to you. Beloved, I pray today that this message will come to you in good condition. And I pray that this message will be the reason why you escaped from that trap that if I had known. That from that trap of you being fought against as a result of I was part of what you were enjoying today. I was part of what if, it, if I was not among them that was there, you wouldn't have gone this far. This is why God is bringing this message. And I Pray to take that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that nothing will make you to regret when your blessings come. No, no unfriendly friend will attach themselves to you in order to undo you when the blessings has fully come. I am praying today that in the name of Jesus Christ, every phase of life you are right now will be a higher level of your understanding. I pray that God will give you wisdom, will give you, will give you understanding, will release Holy Spirit. I mean, will bring up. Wisdom that equalizes the phase of life you are facing, right? Even more than of that phase of life you are facing today. I am praying that in the name of Jesus Christ, that you'll find nothing difficult in your life. I am praying that in the name of Jesus Christ, that whatsoever thing you want to do, 
will be to the glory of God. I am praying that in the name of Jesus Christ, that will say everything that has not been working for you, work for you. I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ, that no friendly friend will attach themselves to you. I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ, no enemy in disguise will switch on or will attach themselves to you. I am praying that in the name of Jesus Christ, that every unfriendly friend around you at this hour is being disconnected. In the name of Jesus Christ, whosoever that will be a source of help to you will never come up to fight against you tomorrow. Whosoever that God is using to help you will you just see it is as a privilege, not to see it as a, 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 a grant to fight against you, not to see that it is by the strength. In the name of Jesus, please, I want to pray because I have been so busy and, you know, children around disturbing. Please, I pray that this message come to you in good condition. And I pray and I believe that in the name of Jesus Christ, who has even given me this little opportunity to come up to share this revelation, or uh, this years of this revelation or message, or, 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 or this prophecy, that the same God will go on to keep you. He will never allow you to fall into the ditch of the enemy. You will never fall into the trap that will be set against you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that right from today, you and your family be safe and secure. And no evil plan against you shall have its way. And every blessings that is coming into your life and your family will never add sorrow. I pray that the presence of God will remain in you to direct you. He said, and you will hear a voice that will tell you, take right. I am praying today that the Holy Spirit of direction will continue to be your you will continue to be your guidance. He will lead you to all truth. That no evil, no false operation of the wicked shall be for you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm still your sister, Charity. God bless you. I love you so much. God bless you for being part of this God's family. Stay blessed until we meet again in the next video. In Jesus' name.